Would you like to start an online t-shirt business from home? Let me show you how with JotForms Store Builder. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm already in my JotForm dashboard. So the first thing I wanna do is go up to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and I wanna choose my apps. Next, we're gonna create a new app. So again, top left, the purple create app button. And we have four options to choose from. If we know exactly what we want this to look like, we can start from scratch. If we don't and we need to get those creative juices flowing, we can choose to utilize a template. If we want to clone an existing app, we can do that, or we can choose the build store option. Now, the most logical is gonna to be to build store, but that's basically just starting from scratch with a product list. So first and foremost, I kinda of wanna start using a template so we can get those creative juices flowing, but then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for apparel. You can see what we have. And this one right here looks like a t-shirt store to begin with, so let's use this template. And this is great. You can see multiple different shirts. We have the different color options. We have different styles. It looks like this one also has dresses. So this kind of helps me get an idea of what my app will look like. So I'm going to go ahead back to the app builder. Let's head back to my apps. Let's go ahead and create an app. And then we're going to start from scratch and adding our first element. We're going to utilize the product list. We can see it says new right here. Then over on the right hand side of the element, there's three different options. The first one's going to be the product settings. So if we want to add or edit, delete, clone any of our products, we can do that here. Then we have our store settings. This is going to be where we integrate our payment settings. And then if we want to delete the entire thing, the delete button is there. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and choose the product settings and we can change this products to shirts. And with the product, we can either choose the pencil option to edit it, or we can choose the gear to either delete it or duplicate it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and let's start fresh. So let's add a new product and let's say this one is a woman's t-shirt. And for this example, I'm just gonna leave it as free. You'll definitely wanna add a description and a picture of what that looks like. But where the magic happens is up at the top. If we come up to options, we can turn on the quantity selector. So this will allow our customers to add more than one of this specific t-shirt to their cart. And let's say we wanna bump that up to 100. So now we can see we have 100 quantity options. But when we go to add a product option, this is where it starts to get fun. So let's say we wanted to give them color options. Now with this, there is a drop down option and you can choose color and it'll automatically populate these colors for you. But if you want to change any of these or delete them, you definitely can. Let's say we have a pale yellow option and we have a lime green option. You can edit any of these as you see fit. And if you want to add a new option, you can. Let's say we want to add magenta back. Good deal. We're going to head back. Now let's add another product option and we're going to choose, this is going to be the size. Now we can also do a drop down and we can choose t-shirt size. Again, perfect. Let's say we want to add in uh, 4XL. Perfect. And again, if we want to delete any of these, we can, but we're good here. We can head back. Now you can see if you add another product option, you don't have to use this drop down. You can choose your own product options um, just as an FYI. So we are good. We have the colors, the t-shirt options, and we can delete this last one that I just added but we should be good to go as far as the t-shirt. So if I go back to basic and let's go back. Now I want to create another one so we can go ahead and duplicate this and it's gonna be the same colors, same sizes, but let's make this a men's t-shirt and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and close out of this and you can see that the payment gateway, those that green store setting button is no longer there. If you want, you can click it up in the top right hand corner right up here. But if you feel more comfortable choosing the element again, it will populate again. So let's go ahead and choose store settings. And I'm gonna choose the add payment integration button. From here, you can do a quick scroll or you can search. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and use Square and connect to Square. Then I'm gonna turn on Apple Pay and Google Pay and save. Now over on the right hand side, if we need to turn on any of these, like the phone number or the shipping address, we can do that as well. But from here, we should be good to go. So let's head up to publish and let's see what this looks like from a customer standpoint. So I can see my product list, which is shirts. And then I see I have two products, the women's t-shirt and the men's t-shirt. And one thing I love about the product list is you can have multiple. So if you wanna have another one for kids' shirts, you can do that as well. Uh, but I do like that we have the favorite option. So let's say I really like this men's shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite it, but I do wanna purchase a women's shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the women's shirt, add to cart, and we can choose Let's say I want six, and then I want the, the pale yellow, and then I want it to be in a size large. 
perfect. We're going to add this to cart and up in the top right, let's go ahead and check out. So we can see we have six of the pale yellow shirts in large, but if I want, I can head over to my favorites and I can see, oh, I forgot, I added that men's t-shirt. I really wanted to get it. So from here, if I want, I can go ahead and click add to cart and I can choose what I want from here. So if I go back over to order summary, I can see the women's t-shirts and the men's t-shirt. So let's go ahead and finish the process. We'll do continue. And because I didn't make these required, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip this and go to proceed to pay. We're gonna pay with Google Pay and order. Good deal, we're good to go. So as a consumer, if I want to see my receipt, I can either utilize that confirmation email or I can click on my previous orders right here. And here's a really great receipt of my order. And if I've ordered from you before, I can utilize on the left-hand side, this is gonna be all of my order history from your store. Now, let's say I don't have access to that button or to that confirmation email. What I can do is I can go back to your app and I can click on my picture up in the top right-hand corner and choose previous orders. And it's gonna take me right back to that same place to view my receipt. Now let's say you, as the creator of the store, need to see where these orders are gonna go. I'm gonna head back to my builder and instead of being in the app builder, I'm gonna choose my tables. And this is where I can find all of my order history. So I see the order date, the app it came from, who it is, their information. And then if I wanna see more information about their order, I can click on the specific item. So if I click on women's t-shirt, I can see that they ordered six large and then they also ordered a small men's shirt. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Store Builder for your t-shirt business, let us know and I'll see you next time.